pandemic forces Taipei businesses to offer online ordering and special delivery services. Ziji embraces Buddhist sutra adaptations to express the Dharma to the community. I'm Sean Scanlon. This is Dai Headlines. Let's get started. In Taiwan, the battle against the pandemic has led coffee shops to offer special packages for purchase, as well as a chance to donate to frontline police and medical staff. Even traditional markets have seen vendors launch delivery services. Here's more. The Dragon Boat Festival is approaching. In the traditional market, the hands making songs have not stopped. The preparation of the materials is three times more than usual, but the buying power has been gradually reduced. Because of the pandemic, people dare not place orders, so we just have them ready to purchase on site. To avoid customer risks, traditional markets implement traffic and real name registration control. The government also urges people to buy enough for a longer period of time. Many vendors have fewer visitors, but their phone keeps ringing. Picking fresh fruits and vegetables in the boxes, these are all ordered by customers. The vendor hopes to reduce the public worry about purchasing and specially launches delivery services to meet the needs of the people's livelihood. Because of the pandemic, people don't dare to come out now. Therefore, there will be fewer people going out, but some of our customers will order goods by line or telephone. Some vendors, in addition to sending out their own products, if their customers the other products at the market, they will have to buy it. The pandemic has changed everyone's lifestyle. Also, the brick and model stores are also surviving in the diversity. Miss Yang grew up in Wanghua and took over the family store two years ago and opened a hip coffee shop. However, as the pandemic hits, how can the coffee shop maintain its business? Probably the most direct impact is the ban on dining in. The customer base significantly decreased. In a severe environment, the service of a coffee shop is warmer. The local youth organization from Wanghua united with the local stores to form a platform to launch Unity Fitted to Coffee Combo Packs to provide consumers with online purchases or even charity acts. People working at home can also drink coffee and the police can also get support. The store can also get some business in a short period of time, which is a win-win situation. So it's very fast to connect the stores in three days and use the power of the platform to launch such products. As soon as the message was posted, orders came in. People really care because part of the income is donated to medical staff so the amount of orders is beyond our imagination. Yesterday's order was for over 850 boxes of filtered coffee. I'm very grateful to the support of people everywhere. We actually sent the first batch of merchandise to our 110 service center the day before yesterday. In the next week, we'll then distribute them to our 119 service center and Wanghua's local fire station. When will the pandemic end? No one can give the right answer. When people have increased their physical social distance, all kinds of love and caring behaviors on the internet have brought us closer emotionally. When sorting out the order, I saw orders from Taichung, Kaohsiung, and Pingdong, and people from Hualien and Taidong gave donations. So these encouragements are not only from Wanhua District, but from the people of Taiwan. They all want to do their best to say thank you and send encouragement to these hardworking police officers on the front line and cheer each other up. After domestic COVID cases in Taiwan broke out in mid-May in order to help Taiwan tide over the severe epidemic, the Zigi Foundation immediately launched a pandemic prevention and rescue plan, which includes coordinating channels and donating vaccines. It has provided more than 958,000 pieces of medical and pandemic prevention materials, 
care for more than 25,000 disadvantaged families. Take a look. Today, a total of 185 new cases have been added. Among them, 180 are domestic cases. The number of new confirmed cases suddenly exceeded 100. We immediately took four major actions for epidemic prevention. Jingsa Hall was closed to the public. Volunteer activities were suspended or postponed. Our recycling activities have also stopped temporarily. Main administration units of several counties and cities have already requested Ziji for anti-epidemic materials. And for the frontliners who are always at risk, we have provided them with protective face shields. When our colleagues perform their duties for every case encountered, they don't know if he was diagnosed or not. They are very stressed at work. Thank you, Ziji, and all sectors of society for providing relevant supplies to us continuously. And when they collect specimen or do screening tests, they may come into contact with the other people's saliva, so they also need gloves. Enterprise donate 800,000 pairs of PVC gloves to them. We first gathered the gloves in Bada Warehouse. They came in many sizes, from XL, M, and S. We hope to classify them clearly and make it easier for volunteers to distribute. New Taipei City suggested that they hope Ziji can provide low-income households with one month of living supplies, so we gather Jingsa products and pack them into care packages with as many as 16 items. We also consider the packaging mindfully. Apart from the safe anti-epidemic distance, we also avoided too many volunteers to come across these care packages. There are not only a lot of living supplies, but also books to enrich our spirits. Thank you, Ziji, for mobilizing so many volunteers in a very short period of time through the social workers of our social welfare centers to deliver the supplies to families in need. How much time do I spend every day to come down and talk to my inner self? We have also prepared the so-called online diligent spiritual food, which is what we call the online cultivation learning course. This year is Ziji's 55th anniversary. We promoted the study group and later the master emphasized that it should be called the Dharma-inspiring group. Everyone should truly integrate Buddhism into daily life and come out to share. Even in such a pandemic, more people would draw positive energy from the Internet. If you are able to give, it means that you are physically and spiritually healthy. This is actually a great blessing. What the Master worries most about, this wave of pandemics is actually how to cleanse the earth from the source. We have also connected many of these creative platforms of the younger generation. Through our connection, in fact, we are bringing the concept of vegetarian food into environmental protection education or disaster prevention education. If you want COVID-19 to disappear, you should not eat meat but be a vegetarian. Vegetarianism is good for us. Being vegetarian is to protect animals, not to fight COVID-19. Animals are the same as us human. Do you think animals have no feelings? They indeed have feelings. They will be hungry, will sleep, will live, will get old, will die. So, do we need to protect animals? We should bear a pious and pure mind, and as the Master said to be modest, this is the message that Master wants to convey, and is also our greatest mission. Standing at the front lines of Dalian Ziji Hospital doing quick COVID testing isn't just the work of younger doctors at the hospital, but one of the most senior doctors, Dr. Huang Junqing. At the age of 51, he is the current vice chief of the emergency room department. He started working at Dalian Ziji Hospital in its second year, has experienced the SARS pandemic, as well as international free clinics. 
In the face of COVID-19, he's a role model for younger doctors to follow. Here at the Darling Zijie Hospital's COVID testing station, Emergency Department Vice Chief Dr. Huang Junqing puts on the gloves and his protective gear to get ready to continue collecting specimens. It's not the younger doctors at the front lines, but those like Dr. Huang, who has over 20 years of experience in the field. The PPE nearly makes him unrecognizable. The distinction is the black fanny pack he has around his waist. Dr. Huang is busy the entire day collecting specimens and also surveying the rounds. Being in the emergency department means we're at the front lines and we need to protect people. It's in our mission. He is 51 this year and joined Dalin Zizhi Hospital during the second year. He has experience with SARS and international free clinics. Uh. He's even helped to clean up the home when a care recipient's house was flooded. It's our calling. If it is needed, we'll be here. Being at the front lines against COVID is a difficult job to do. Thus, Dalin Zijie Hospital has purchased two COVID-19 testing booths to relieve some burden. These past few days, we have used these booths to conduct testing in the community. And we have found that it is faster than normal testing procedures. As Taiwan continues to battle this wave of COVID-19, the doctors remain true to their calling and safeguard the citizens of the country. The value of Buddhism lies in the ability to be practiced in daily life, helping people relieve their worries, increasing wisdom and personal transformation. Dharma Master Zheng Yin started Ziji in 1966 to lead people to do charitable acts, disaster relief and life-saving actions. Furthermore, the Master felt sutra adaptations through music, song and performing arts could inspire more people through the Dharma. Take a look. Metaphorically speaking, I was most sad when I knew that the Master felt sad for this earth and the suffering of all beings. She was reluctant to bear it, so she would rather say that, in the midst of such suffering, she would lead us step by step. There are markings on the ground, and there are a lot. You know that if we have a bad eyesight, we have to keep looking for them and remember them all the time. I'm getting older, and I don't have another 55 years. I'm 82 years old. I just want to say, no matter what, I find that well, power can overcome all difficulties, and I don't feel that I am tired. It's hard work and the elderly volunteers set an example and their perseverance is inspiring. Their mood is integrated into the sutra adaptation and the many ups and downs. It is very difficult to build a hospital. And I asked the master, what was the most difficult thing for you to build a hospital? Unexpectedly, 40 years ago, the master replied to me that all beings are strong and may find it difficult to follow me willingly. After all these years, I know that I am one of these sensuous beings, so I vowed to follow the Master life after life. You will find that the old bodhisattvas in this area are actually very spiritual. They will always work hard to show their spirits, and they will also lead us young people. In fact, sometimes we still feel that the perseverance and persistence of young people is still behind that of older bodhisattvas. 55th anniversary of Zichi volunteers performed Buddha sutras depicting stories and scenes of relief from suffering. The depiction of great love even reflected their own experiences. Project Hope involved old schools which are all dilapidated and one on with their still supports collapsing. We should prevent disaster and do disaster reduction projects. 
Passing one level after another is not only difficult, but also requires patience. What kind of merit is? 50 cents, which passes down like a river. It flows like a small river to the home of a care recipient and to Myanmar and the five continents. When the master began to lead Zhiji practitioners in 1966, practicing the sutras became important so that the profound principles in the scriptures can be deeply rooted in the hearts of the disciples. This took place directly through charitable works to help the poor, medical treatment and other charitable actions. In the 21st century, the interpretation of sutras allowed Buddhism to enter many hearts. Hoi 30 years ago, Zhiji added sign language as part of their song performances. Zhiji's use of sign language is not just a performance according to the master. Actually, the master encountered many deaf and mute when visiting the poor. The master asked them where it hurts, and she asked someone about how to say hurt in sign language. The master is very smart and soon used this sign language to ask whether they had a toothache or if their hand hurt. The master then thought that we should add sign language for the disadvantaged. At the year-end blessing ceremony in 1999, sign language was included in the sutra adaptation of a Bodhi Pakihiya Dharma composed by Guo Mengyong and arranged and interpreted by Lu Ziye and recorded by Thai TV team which was the first sutra adaptation team. Since then, they have been doing the sutra adaptation for years, including Filial Piety Sutra, Medicine Buddha Sutra, Infinite Meaning Sutra, and the Water Repentance Sutra in 2011, which include cooperation with local performing arts groups. 2021, the Jingzi Lotus Sutra Adaptation Performance Team worked with four groups, Sun Tuifeng Studio, Tang Meiyun, Taiwanese Opera Troupe, Wang Hailing Studio, and Youth Theatre. These strengths of the performance is not the same as Water Repentance Sutra 10 years ago, which was based upon everyone confessing seriously and finding their own wrongs. Its pattern is personal confession, but the Lotus Sutra is different. It is the power of a group and the master's perseverance in passing difficulties one after another. I wonder the power of one person or the power of a group can accomplish this. We don't want to just add. We want to use our larger framework to honestly interpret the Lotus Sutra. We are actors ourselves. When we perform on the stage, we could feel that it is a very difficult thing. At the same time, on earth many things happened. When our actors interpreted these disasters on the stage, they could feel it the same way. Buddhism is the most fundamental truth of our lives, and it is also the most fundamental truth of the entire universe. That being the case, for this music, all music starts with Do, and I use Do to develop and create six rays. Raising hands and feet or speaking with tongue, all these are methods to interpret the sutras and display the essence of Ziji for over 55 years. It's also an inspiring experience of humanistic Buddhism in the world. In Indonesia, Zigi volunteers promote character education classes in Dai village, hoping to nurture compassion in children's hearts from a young age. Elementary student Sawa is an active member. He not only helps his fellow villagers, but also knows to save money to help his family. Here's more. Hitting a drum made from recycled materials, Sawa reminded villagers to come take a meal during Ramadan. 
to prepare for Eid, Salwa eagerly volunteers his service. When we talk about sharing, he is always participating. He will ask who wants more fried fudges or who wants drinks. Salwa has taken the character education class taught by Tsuji since he was young. And despite moving to online learning, he still doesn't miss class. He also made a piggy bank out of a cookie box so he can save money. I will use it to buy school supplies, uniforms and pay for tuition. I'm so happy because saving money is a good thing. I am so moved because my nephew is eager to join in activities no matter what type it is. Sawa shows excellence in his character, school grades and performance. He was nominated as a top student in school, as we look forward to him growing up with compassion in his heart. The Chameleons of India distributed 6,000 food packages to families in need affected by the pandemic. This live broadcast is a testimony of interreligious cooperation. The priest expressed a sincere gratitude to Gigi's help, and he also said that every penny would be sent to the people who need it most. Take a look. Suchi Foundation is a women enterprise of the Buddhist women and only people with a motherly heart can be so generous to the people who are hungry by seeing all the happenings related to this distribution i can assure you that no single penny that you spend for this enterprise will be spend out of place. Besides the kit distribution for the hungry people, you have been so generous in contributing oxygen concentrators. We have no words to thank you because your generosity is so exemplary and it is marvelous. We bow our heads and we join our hands with immense gratitude. In Chile's capital, Digi assisted a community by providing ingredients for meals as well as secondhand computers to local high school students to do online learning. We leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.